decreeing in the south. Yes, Lord, we thank you that indeed you change times and seasons. Lord, you crown the air with your bounty. We thank you for the crowning of the previous year. We thank you for the new year. You are our Alpha and Omega, and we commit to you the new year. We give you praise and we give you thanks. In Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So welcome to the Global Watch. And good to see you all from the different nations joining in to pray. You're welcome. And uh, this is the Africa Watch leading this session. And as we begin, we shall continue in praise and worship. So feel free to offer <clears throat> a praise of thanksgiving, a prayer of praise of thanksgiving, a prayer of praise. Uh, for those who've just joined us, my name is Edward Matoku, and right now I'm in Jerusalem to be part of the All Nations Convocation and watchmen's tour of Israel. So it's a joy to pray in the city of the great king together with watchmen from the nations in this season of the Jewish New Year. Amen. So let's give thanks. Let's give praise. Feel free. Then we're going to the sharing of the word. Yes, Lord, we want to thank you for this morning, all for this time together. I thank you for every one of my brothers and sisters that we can stay together on the walls. I thank you that you brought us together for such a time as this, uh, and that you, yeah, that we could learn so much in the last months and stay and learn to stay on the walls together. God, I thank you for my African brother and all the other ones which are not in the Zoom right now, but which served us so much in the last uh, years, God. I want to bless Africa from here and I, I want to thank you that we can be connected here over the Zoom to all the nations, God. I thank you this morning. I praise you, God. And I praise you that Edward can be in Jerusalem. That's so amazing, God. I thank you that you give us the opportunity to fly again i thank you that i could be in korea the last week and i thank you god that you do miracles that you open the doors which had been closed god i thank you and i, I thank you that you have something prepared for this morning uh, Good morning. But, um, Father, we thank you that you are the one who sets times and seasons and that you gave this time there you set to your people of Israel, but this is also for us crafted in. I will have a date with you. This is my appointed time to have fellowship with you. And I thank you that Edward is able to be in your city, the place that you said, my name shall dwell there. And we ask you that your blessing will spread out during this time of the feasts through the whole earth. Father. Thank you that this is a time of blessing, time of repentance, a time of coming close of you. Thank you, Father. Amen. 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 Thank you all. Uh, Father, even as we going to sharing your word, 
we pray and ask that you speak to us through the scriptures by the Holy Spirit, that our hearts may receive what you have for us this morning. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Amen. So we are in a new season, as I shared earlier, and our focus is the 10 days of all. And these first days uh, leading up to the Yom Kippur are days when we focus on the fullness of the Gentile church. And our key scripture is Romans 11, verse 25, which says, For I do not desire, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery, lest you should be wise in your own opinion that blindness in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles has come in. And... Uh, that word fullness of the Gentiles, some versions of the Bible say the full number of Gentiles, but I've come to believe that it has double implications, both the number, but also, and even more, the, the quality or the level of maturity of Gentile believers is going to be key in order for the end to come, in order for the Jews to come into their salvation, the Gentile believers must reach a level of stature and maturity. The level that will cause the Jews to be jealous. And once that happens, that is what will usher in or prepare the body of believers to welcome the Messiah. So it's a very precious thing we are praying into this season at the Global Watch. And I'll encourage those who have not yet been able to read the email from Fred and Sue, which has this, these prayer points. Today we will focus on hunger for God's word. Different days have a focus, but our focus is hunger for God's word. I'll ask somebody to read for us Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 3 and another person to read John chapter 6 from verse 32 to 33. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 3 and John chapter 6 verse 32 to 33. You go to bed later. Do we have readers? Uh, Yuta, are you able to read? Christina, are you able to read? Delaine, are you there? I see your mic muted. Yes. I, I found this the John 6. I can read John 6. Okay. Yes. Yes, please go ahead. Okay, John 6, 32 and 33. Um, then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he with, with, which comes down from heaven and gives life unto the world. Amen. The bread that comes from heaven and gives life to the world. Thank you so much. Let's have Deuteronomy 8, verse 3. I've got that if you want me to read it. Deuteronomy yes, 8, 8, verse 3. So he humbled you allowed you to hunger and fed you 
with Rash uh, with Mela, which you did not, nor did you or fathers know, that he might make you know that man shall not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. Thank you so much, Joe. Yes, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. Uh, yesterday we visited Bethlehem. Interestingly, the topic today is on hunger for God's word because Bethlehem means a house of bread in Hebrew. And in Arabic, it means house of meat, house of bread, where Jesus was born and, both, and, and King David as well was born there. So it's a place of bathing, it's a place of bread. Now we've heard about God's word being food, and I wanted to highlight another kind of food that Jesus talked about in the book of John chapter 4 when he met with the Samaritan woman at the well. I'll read chapter 4 from verse 27. And at this point his disciples came and they marveled that he talked with the woman yet no one said what do you seek? Or oh, why are you talking with her? Verse 28, the woman then left her water pot, went her way into the city and said to the men, come see a man who told me all things that I ever did. Could this be the Christ? Then they went out of the city and came to him. In the meantime, his disciples urged him saying rabbi eat but he said to them i have food to eat which you do not know therefore the disciples said to one another has anyone brought him anything to eat jesus said to them my food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work do you not say that there are still four months and then comes the harvest? Behold, I said to you, lift up your eyes and look at the fields for they are already white for harvest. And he who reaps receives wages and gathers fruit for eternal life that both he who sows and he who reaps may rejoice together. For in the saying is in this, the saying is true, one sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap that for which you have not labored. Others have labored and you have entered into their labors. So I want to bring our attention to verse 34. Jesus said to them, my food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. As we hunger for, for bread, which is the word of God, Jesus here shows us another dimension of bread. And that dimension is doing the Father's will. Doing the Father's will. And uh, our master there gives us an example to go beyond the bread which is of course, as well, very essential, the bread of God's word, but to a greater level, doing what that word tells us to do. Jesus here did not even eat actual bread, and yet he, was, he told them he was eating a kind of bread they did not know of. As we pray for the fullness in stature and maturity of the church, our prayer is that 
the church, the ecclesia, will feed more on that bread of doing the Father's will and finishing the assignments he has entrusted to us. That way, our nations will be instrumental in, see, in seeing our nations reach their destiny will be instrumental in seeing God's kingdom established in our lands and the different geographical locations, the different people groups, the different institutions in our nations, and his kingdom shall be manifest. And that way the body of believers among the Gentiles will reach the fullness which will cause the Jews to jealousy. Amen. Another dimension I'd like us to pray into this is praying for the Gentile be being in Israel, praying for the Gentile believers in the land because a good portion of Jews live in Israel so they will observe the Gentile who are believers, then they should see the fruit of the Holy Spirit and be provoked to jealousy. And as well for the Jews in the diaspora, when they see the Gentile believers, wherever they've been scattered, then they'll be drawn to jealousy as the believers eat and feast on that bread which is to do the Father's will and to finish it. Amen. Amen. That's the word I wanted to share with us. And uh, before we receive it in prayer, if anyone has something to add, please you're welcome. As I ask Ronald to prepare lead us in a prayer to receive the word. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Lord, that the entrance of your word gives, gives light. Father, we thank you for this word, Lord. We pray that may this word revive our soul. As the psalmist said, Father Lord, it is sweeter than honey. Father, may we see the sweetness of this honey when we see promises, promises revealed in this word, in your word, Father Lord, being fulfilled in our days, good over good. When we see, Father Lord, Gentiles, Lord, Father Lord, taking a step, a step of faith, carrying out program of action, Lord to see that, Father Lord, your word is fulfilled, Lord, causing your, the firstborn, the up of your eye, Father Lord, go to jealousy. Go, go, go to jealousy. Father Lord, seeing the premises, Lord, being fulfilled in our days, Father Lord. Father Lord, we thank you for, for this word. We pray that, Father Lord, this word will bring a transformation, spiritual transformation, Lord, in our hearts, would bring the spiritual transformation, Lord, in your own, the up of your eye, Lord. When we see that most of them, Father Lord, are coming to the saving knowledge of your of your name. We glorify your name, exalt your name. There is none like you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Yes, so we'll now open it up for prayer. You can share oppression uh, or burden prompting you received and then pray into that. It could be a, a burden along the lines of the body of believers coming into their fullness, hungering for God's word as the bread which, which, uh, which came from heaven, but also the bread on which man depends, not 
uh, by the physical bread alone, but by each one which comes from the Lord. May I pray? Yes, Lynette. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you that it's by your spirit that you stir us to, to yearn to love you. You give us the capacity to love you. You give us the capacity to hunger and thirst for your righteousness. And we speak this blessing, your blessing, as in the Beatitudes, Lord, to bring your people in Israel, the Jews, the Islamic, the Druze, all the different people groups, Lord, and the Gentiles in the nations around the earth, Lord, the Jews in the diaspora, Lord. You just show me there's been such a famine of the word of God. There's been such a, a yearning for entertainment and even Baal worship in whatever way it is. And I thank you that in this hour, in this new season, you're drawing your true people to come aside and to hunger and thirst and yearn to read your word again and really discern what you are saying, what your heart is behind it. Not to just do reading plans, but to spend time in intercession in your word, that your word can um, refine and purge and purify us by your spirit and bring conviction unto repentance. And we particularly pray for this for your Jewish people during this 10 days of all, Lord, for my my people I say father forgive us where there's been so much self-righteousness so much blindness such a religious spirit that has blocked the true heart of God and the spirit behind the word so many times and where the word has become familiar and it's just repeated Oh, Heavenly Father, we pray for a new wineskin, a new move of your Holy Spirit to apprehend your passion, your heart. As you spoke to your disciples, you breathed your Holy Spirit upon them in John 20. When you came in your resurrection body and they were so traumatized in the upper room and the first thing you did was breathed your Holy Spirit and your shalom peace upon them. And I speak that today, that the breath, the ruach of God to come upon your people all over the globe, Lord, even after the Queen's passing, many, many billions heard the message of the gospel. This would be stirred up in the hearts of people, the seed of your word. It would take root, Heavenly Father, and there would be a yearning to go back to your Bible, to the living word, to the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ by the spirit and that your word will be as that two-edged sword living and active separating between our soul and our spirit our flesh man and release us into that passion of what you were sent by the father as you said as the father sent me so I send you to your disciples to forgive that you would release your compassion release the desire to forgive and to walk in your mercy to acknowledge your name to acknowledge all the times in your word you speak about Jerusalem and your desire for your Jewish people to return all the prophetic scriptures yet to be fulfilled father we ask for a, a, a shift of perspective and gaze and revelation and understanding by your holy spirit in the knowledge of who you are messiah beloved, soon coming bridegroom, king of kings and lord of lords, and people's hearts bowing down to worship you and to live according to your word that becomes alive in their spirits. In Jesus Christ's precious name, and through all this, bring the reverential fear of the Lord, I pray. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord, we just thank you that all scripture um, is given by the revelation of God. And it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for um, instruction, for righteousness. And Lord, I just pray for all the, believer, the, the believers in the land of Israel. Lord, that they will be able to show 
the Jewish people who are not yet not recognizing you as their Messiah, Lord, that you will just show them even from all the scriptures that it's not through the New Testament that they have to come to know you, Jesus, but Lord, that you will be found in every part of scripture. So I just thank you, Lord, that you can take something which may seem obscure to us, a, a verse or few verses that will actually mean something very meaningful to, to each of them, especially in the five books of Moses, Lord, that you would, the, the ones that they, they read all the time, that you will highlight it for them in such a way that they will realize that Yeshua has already come and that he is the one who's leading them into all truth through the scriptures. So Lord, we just pray for a harvest first of the Jewish people, because Paul said that he went to the Jews first and then to the Gentiles. And yet the Jews are going to wait for the fullness of the Gentiles to come in. So Lord, help us to also be very aware of the, of the hour, the timing, and the season that we are in. And Lord, I just pray that you would just um, take your word, break it in such a way that we will have what we need to, to eat and that we will be able to share with others. Even as Lord, you broke, you um, created more, more bread than they needed. And when, the he, when, you, when Jesus, you fed the 5,000, that bread can be broken into pieces that will sustain and will actually lead to more and more um, desire to, to read the word of God. So I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Father, Father, I, go, go, Delaine, go. I just was thinking on what the Lord told the Samaritan woman that our father wants um, people worship him in spirit and in truth, Lord, and how important that is in inviting in you. And we thank you for your powerful word, Lord God, that, that we need every day to eat and your spirit to be strong in you in the spirit realm, listening to you, Lord God. And I just pray that over the body, Lord, today, um, Father God, that we will bless Israel with the truth, oh Lord, that we would be one 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 in you lord god and 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 uh and and in the scripture lord not have the doctrines of men but to truly understand your word lord and and then the power of your spirit lord to bless your people in these last days lord god the the olive tree or thinking that we recognize that um those branches lord that were broken off lord that we just recognize that we're one in that olive tree and love them and speak the truth and know your word and and bless them in the power of your spirit and the jewish people today during these days of awe lord god that they would come to know you lord god many many would come to know you we just praise you lord and that each of us as we as this word said lord that we would be close to you in the spirit realm to know what you'd have us to do the whole body lord in these last days strong in you hallelujah and your anointing lord and all that you'd have us to do in yeshua's name amen 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 father in the mighty name of jesus we pray that in this time of unrest lord god in this time of the days of all that according to your word john 4 34 Jesus said, my food is to do the will of him who sent to me. Father, we pray that the people will be unsatisfied. Unsatisfied and therefore will seek you, the true food, to do the will. Because you also have sent us on the earth as your sons and daughters. And also, Lord God, that those who don't know you, especially the Jews, Lord God, that the sign when they are gathering, that they will be so unsatisfied, Lord God, with uh, whatever is happening around them, that they will seek your face and start asking, what, what is your will? Father, 
what is your will? Father, let the people start asking, Lord God, what is your true will? Man has done so many things, Lord God. We, we, we go head first and we go do things in our own way, Father, but it doesn't satisfy us, Lord God, because you have made us to do your will. So, Father, we ask you in the mighty name of Jesus that you will bring this unrest within the people at such a time as this, so that they will seek you, seek your face to know what you are calling them, and that you have called them also, Lord God, as priests and as kings to take dominion, Father, as the ecclesia, to do your will on earth as it is in heaven, to bring on earth your will on earth as it is in heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, that we will be satisfied by you, your, your, your precious presence, Lord God, and your holy will. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And amen. Yes, Lord, and I may I pray? Oh, yes, please. Lord, and I thank you that this is uh, the, the main issue to walk with you and to get our food from you. As we were in the, in the Garden of Eden, we were walking, you were walking with us and you gave us everything we need. And um, even when you talk about fasting, it's also to walk with you and to do your will. And if it's eating or all the meals in the in scripture, it's all about you, that you are giving us uh, during the meal, advises what to do and to do your will. And we want to dig in this even more. And I thank you for your word. I thank you that we have your word in, in letters and can read it and dig in it, that you gave us the Holy Spirit to for the full understanding. And um, I ask for forgiveness where we didn't take it for, where we didn't honor it and we take, took it as, um, um, yeah, just like something. And we didn't acknowledge it properly. And we asked really to draw us near into your presence so we may do your will and that we, we prosper on it, that we um, meditate on it, on your word, that you are giving us daily this. And even in, in the daily life, if we, we go shopping or on the streets, that we are so close to you as the Gentiles, that especially those ones who are now in Israel, I ask that, that the Jews may see that uh, they are walking with you, that they are in this relationship they are longing for with you, that they see that you are the God um, who wants to relate, that they get um, drawn from the law into the relationship to you. Because this is all about your relationship. This is what you want. You want to be with us. You want to walk with us in our daily life. And I ask that we, um, as Margaret also said, know the right place, the right time to do your will. And um, that you open our spirit and, and make us awake for the things to do in our daily life. As you lead us as well to people like the Samaritan woman or, um, or to other people like you, Jesus, that we know, okay, where to go, where to heal, where to feed, where to comfort, where to help. And I ask really, Holy Spirit, come upon us to, to move in your will. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And as we continue to pray, I, I saw this verse 32. 
But he said to them, I have food to eat to of which you do not know. Therefore the disciples said to one another, has anyone brought him anything to eat? Verse 34. Jesus said to them, my food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. So I'd like us to pray because we see another dimension of food which is doing the will of God and to finish it. The Lord gave his church the great commission to make the nation's disciples let us also pray for that grace to finish this great commission because it is bread to do the will of the father and also bring it down to the global watch the previous visit to to korea was something which only heaven could have orchestrated. But you see that there are other such assignments the Lord has for us. So let's pray that as a movement, the Lord will also help us finish the work for which he has called us. The work for which he has called Fred and Sue, the different watch leaders, Amen. So we can pray along those lines as well. So yes, Lord, I want to bless uh, Sue and Fred and yeah, everyone um, who's involved in preparation or planning for things. I thank you for the um, yeah for the plans for meeting in Israel next year. Um, what they just gave, gave out. I thank you that you put this on their heart. And I ask you now that you prepare this like you prepared the time in Korea. I ask you that you speak to the heart of people that everyone knows who has to go and who has to stay home, God. And I ask you that you prepare and uh, yeah, whatever will be done on this in these days, God. I ask you especially uh, because they said they want to have children there to worship and to pray with them. And I ask you that you speak to the heart of families and yeah, prepare the way for everyone, that, that the visas are um, given out, that there's money enough, that you provide money to fly to Israel and to, to be there. And yes, I thank you. And I ask you also to for other assignments you put in the heart of Sue or other persons, I ask you to, that everything comes into reality what is on your heart, that we are able to lay down, to lay beside things which are not so important, but to do what is on your heart. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Come on, we thank you that you revealed your will to your people of Israel. You gave them your word, your commandment. Father, and I ask you that we are humble enough to learn from them what you gave them, especially in these days. We still have to learn so much from them. And we can learn from them even if you, they do not know you yet. But they have your birth. And they know the context of it. Father, I ask you for this humble heart to be willing to learn from your firstborn son, to, willing, to be willing to build friendship, relationship with them, and that they can teach us the meaning of the feasts, your appointed times, 
Father, make our hearts will to listen to you. To listen what you have to say to us and then to do it. That really, this is our, what, what we eat, your word, your word. Fill us with it. Thank you, Father. Amen. 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 And Heavenly Father, I also pray there would be a sharpening and fresh revelation of what you mean by us discipling nations and how to truly share the gospel of the kingdom. And this is the great work that you wanted your disciples to do. And Father, where the gospel's got watered down, where it's just become simply a gospel of salvation, like a passport to heaven, Father, forgive. We pray for the revelation to come, just even as Peter preached the true gospel of Christ crucified, your precious blood shed and resurrected, and the revelation to come that will cut through to the hearts of people, that they truly will be um, convicted by your Holy Spirit across the nations of the earth to realize who you are and that for the Jews to realize that it, you are the Messiah, the King of glory that was rejected. And that Father, as it happened at Pentecost, they their hearts were cut and they wept. They cried before you. The same thing with Ezra when the word of God was, the old um, covenant Torah was read. And the Jews realized how far they'd moved away from you. They'd broken covenant with you. I pray for this revelation to come, that it's all about coming into covenant with you, whether it's non-believers encountering you and coming to covenant reality and um, agreement and total surrender through the new covenant, through the shedding of your blood, or whether it's for the Jews to come in through the shedding of your blood, but also to realize that Yeshua, you are the fulfillment, the seed of Abraham, the fulfillment of all the promises of the Abrahamic covenant. And that, Lord, you want us to return back to you all the way through your word. You kept saying, return to me and I will redeem you and I will restore you. So, Father, we thank you for the waking up to the reality that this is a relationship you're yearning for and an ongoing relationship of discipleship with you in your word and by your spirit and within covenant communities. So I ask for this whole new wineskin reality of discipleship and loving one another in the way you've loved us with your agape love that only by your Holy Spirit can we have the grace to do this. And I just thank you, Father, for the breakthrough in the yeshivas in Jerusalem, in Israel, and across the earth where the Jewish people study, study, study your word, and yet they're blind to who you are as Messiah. I ask for restoration of Isaiah 53 and the book of Daniel and so many other of your prophetic works to come alive to your people and that lord not only would they repent and their hearts be cut but they would be willing to obey and be baptized fully in water and be released into the fullness of your holy spirit baptism of fire by the laying on of hands so we call forth your true gospel of the kingdom of god and that those who would walk on fire with you lord in humility and to bring all these burdens to you, Lord, and to learn of you, your humble and lowly, meek of spirit, and that your burden is light and your yoke is easy, and that this is a whole walk of ruling and reigning with you through your abundance of grace and gift of righteousness to us, that we may be seated with you in the heavenly realms, in the third heaven, and from that place, Father, release your word, um, release discipleship, 
and bring other people to come to the revelation of that's where you want us to be all seated with you and and bring the truth of what it means to be a christian yielded to your lordship where we can resist the devil and he'll flee i pray for this in jesus name amen amen father i also pray for really identity that we in a, in a new form father we 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 get to know you more lord we get to know what you did and who you are lord and that we find in the in all depths our identity in you and thank you that you position us lord um in christ father that um our life uh, um that your yoke uh, lord is on our shoulders on our life father that that um that we find um uh, what you called us to do father that we line up into your works and also all together, Father, as Global Watch, Lord, that we acknowledge each other, Lord, that we, um, that we love, we honor each other, Lord, and we help each other to grow deeper into this position. Father, and thank you for revealing us your works, what you are doing, that we can line up, that we can surrender into your works, Lord, that we can eat from this bread, Lord, what Jesus, what you ate is bread directly from the Father. I thank you so much that we are directly connected, Father, to you, Lord, because you say um, that we are all the time with you and all that's yours is ours. So we eat from this bread, Lord, Father. And thank you for guiding us together, Father. I bless everybody from Global Watch and Thank you for joy, excitement, Lord, what you are going to do because uh, you release your spirit on what you are doing, Lord. And it's a joy, Lord, to see what you are doing. It's exciting, Lord. And, um, and I thank you for that. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Yes, Lord, and we just thank you. Amen. We, we thank you for the Alia, uh, Alia, sorry, um, and Lord, that so many of the Jewish people are being brought, even from war zones, into the land of Israel. And we know, Lord, that, that you have said that you will bring them back to their land, and then you will uh, wash them um, of clean. So, Lord, I just pray that even if they come into the land not knowing you, that it will, you will actually reveal yourself through Israel and through the miracle that Israel is um, having been born in one day as a nation so Lord I just say thank you Lord that even though war is terrible you have had a purpose to bring the people especially from the Ukraine and other areas where there's war at the moment into the land of Israel and Lord, there's hundreds of thousands of them coming, people coming into the land. So Lord, we just pray that as they, even as their feet touch the land of Israel, that you will reveal yourself into to their lives, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I want to pray. And thank you for presence too, Lord God, that they have aligned the Global Watch to Israel. And they are um, adamant about this, Lord God, and they are continuously speaking about this. So, Father, I pray that the nations will realize the importance of Romans chapter 11, that Israel has not been cast away. And Father, we pray, Lord God, that this anti-Semitism that is in the nation, Lord God, will, will, people will come to know that this is fake, this is unreal, and actually it's contrary to the word of God. Father, we pray that the people of God, your ecclesia, your called out ones, will speak very clearly. Your, Romans 11 speaks very, very clearly, Lord God. And I'm going to quote verse 15 from uh, chapter 11. For if they're being cast away is re re uh, reconciling of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? Father, we thank you, Lord God, that when Israel is reconciled, Father, when we, our job as Gentiles, are to pray for Israel, Lord God, because, Lord God, this is what you have purposed 
from the beginning of time, Lord God. And therefore, Lord God, we want to thank you. And verse 20 says, because of unbelief, they were broken off and you stand by faith. Do not be haughty by fear, but fear. So Father, I pray for the Gentile church, for us, the Christians, Lord God, that we will not be haughty, but we will stand in faith and we will pray for Israel, Lord God, that they will believe in you as Messiah, Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, brethren. Uh, we are reaching the top of the hour. And, uh, ask our brother Eve to prayer. If anyone has something to share briefly before we close. Brother Edward, I have one thing, and that is the Father would bring revelation to so many in the Messianic community. Their identity is in Messiah, in Yeshua, not in just the Torah or the land. And the revelation of the Lamb of God the precious blood of Yeshua that he shed. That is the saving grace and the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, the name that's above every other name, because there's so much confusion in many of the messianic bodies. So, Father, we ask for your light to penetrate any darkness, any idolatry, any immorality that's caught, caught people up into this mixture, Father, that you would come, purge, purify through your Holy Spirit, grace, that, uh, Father, you're working with all of us, your bride. And I thank you for your Malachi 3 promise. You're suddenly going to come into your temple and you're going to purge and purify your people. And you want us to bring offerings of righteousness that are acceptable to you for every one of our hearts. And I just want to stand in the gap for my Jewish people and say, Father, forgive us. Father, forgive us where there's any self-righteousness. And all the old Pharisee stuff mixed up, mixed up in it, that we can come into the true humility of Christ, Messiah, and take up our cross daily and follow you and learn to walk the way that you want us to follow you in. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Amen. amen. Thank you, Hilary. Uh, Brother Yves, are you there? Yes, I'm here, Pastor. Um, thank you, Lord. We bless you again for the privilege of coming uh, to you this morning. We thank you that you've uh, given us this opportunity that uh, we have gathered to call upon your name. We thank you that you are the one who called us. You are the one who is uh, leading us and uh, calling us to uh, look for many and uh, uh, to bring them into your family, Lord. We thank you that uh, you've been with us uh, during this uh, particular hour. We pray that you will continue Jesus, to be with us even as uh, we are going to uh, leave this hour and uh, go about our, uh, our work, our daily um, uh, routine. Lord, we pray that uh, you may use us, each and every one of us who is here online, Powerfully, Lord Jesus, to bring many to your kingdom. We pray that, Lord Jesus, Lord, you may look upon us with your grace and uh, heal us from uh, any disease that may be uh, among us, that you may, Father God, uh, anoint us to be uh, your people, to uh, work the um, what you've called us to do. Lord, uh, we thank you again, Lord Jesus, for this watch. We thank you for our leadership that uh, is uh, leading us into this work. Father, you know that uh, without you, we are unable to be able to do anything that is uh, good, but uh, with you, we are more than a conquerors, and we thank you that uh, you are the one leading us all the way. Father, um, at this particular time, we are thankful for, the, for again, uh, being with the brethren and being able to fellowship and be able to pray and call upon your name. We know that you have heard us. You've heard the prayers that we've uh, brought over to you for our 
brothers, for our sisters, for the Jewish people. Uh, Lord Jesus, Lord, we thank you. Even uh, for the continent, for Africa, we thank you for the world. We thank you, Lord Jesus, Lord, that uh, you are the one who is uh, among us. And you are the one, who, Lord Jesus, Lord, who knows everything. And uh, we believe in you and our hope is in you. We bless you and we thank you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Brother Yves, from the great nation of Rwanda and all watchmen from the great nations. Thank you for joining the call. You can all unmute your mics, enable your camera, and say blessing to one another. Shalom, leading worship on Thursday at your convocation. So do go and talk wow. to Wow. Wow, yes, yes I'll look out for it. her. Wow, thank yeah. you. Okay, Let's I see. have to end the meeting because I'm the host. Okay, God bless okay. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.